How's it going, boys, girls, and squirrels? You guys remember Skate the Infinity? Yeah, that was weird, wasn't it? For those of you who don't know, Skate the Infinity is about a group of fun-loving teens competing in a skateboarding competition and the sexual predator that runs it. This show is so unnecessarily intense. It's so intense, you would think it was a show about camping. It's also become famous for having a cast of male characters that have unyielding sexual tension with each other and absolutely no payoff. So that's annoying. I actually have reacted to this show before in a series of TikToks that got like millions of views each. Oh, get fucking ollied, nerd! Yeah, I'm cool, I know the words. I didn't know this show was an absolute babe parade. This dude could grind my half pipe any day of the week. Great, who's this furry? You look like one of those girls who used to own a ton of Invader Zim shirts in middle school. If you're gonna be a prick to my boy Lasagna, you can skate your ass back to Hot Topic. Look at the smile when he sees his best buddy come. They fucking love each other! And I'm not saying that I single-handedly led to this show's popularity. But I do deserve the credit. A medal, a plaque of some sort, any of that would be appreciated for my dedicated hard work. Now, ever since I made those videos, people have been begging me to react to the dub of this show because apparently it's like fucking unhinged. I said I'd react to it at 50,000 subscribers. You guys got me there, so that's what we're gonna do today. So strap in for my reaction of the Skate the Infinity dub. When I was a kid, I loved watching all kinds of superhero shows on TV. Oh no! Is that Recky's voice? Thanks, I fucking hate it! He sounds like a psychopath. Recky should have like an upbeat and enthusiastic voice. This is what I'd expect Light Yagami to sound like. He said he hated that his life might end before he knew the answer to that question. And that basically we were lost because no one really knows the truth. Also, what is this serial killer manifesto I'm listening to right now? When you give a speech like this to a voice like that, it sounds like it belongs to the Joker. He's also, like, perpetually out of breath. I get that he's trying to do, like, a cool guy, laid-back kind of voice, but he just kind of sounds like a little piggy going nuts on a trough. He said he hated that he'd never know the answer to that question. Oh my god, he sounds like Shigaraki. And look, I recognize this is, like, arguably the meanest thing I've ever said. And a lot of this is hyperbole, and I have nothing wrong with the voice actor. And I am like 34 seconds into this dub, but I like so far initial impressions, de like good voice actor, but maybe miscast. I'm glad I figured that out early. God, I forgot how fucking cool this show was. You just got that bass like slapping up a storm, like bam, bam, na, 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 bam, na, bam, na. Ugh, so cool. Th this show is stylish as hell, dude. Like, if you want a skateboarding show to be one thing, it's rad. And this show. The show is absolutely rad. Take back what you said, Shadow. You're gonna regret dissing me. Reggie sounds unhinged. Sounds like he's gonna snap at any moment. He needs, like, Ash Ketchum's voice. Like, he doesn't need this edgy kid in the back of the class voice. No. It's just weird not to see snow everywhere. That works. Good fit. That's the kind of voice you want to hear out of this moody little snowflake. <clears throat> Tell them who you are. I'm Longa Hasegawa. Nothing else? Like what? I'm here from Canada. Amazing, you're doing great, sweetheart. Oh yeah, I forgot. Um, if you've seen my original reaction to the series, you know that there's a weird translation error in both the sub and the dub of this show. For some reason, the sub and dub both refer to this character as Langa, which is just a ridiculous sounding name. It's entirely inaccurate to the core of his character. So for the remainder of this reaction, I will be addressing this character uh, by the proper pronunciation of his name, which of course, as many of you know is lasagna need a break no i can do this i'm fine you know what sucks about the way you say i'm fine the fact that he sounds like he's gonna open fire on a school cafeteria sorry too dark i apologize for not including a clause about age and the application requirements Ooh, cherry's voice is smooth as fuck is that night eye was that Sir Night Eye voicing Cherry? Interesting, very interesting. Very weird typecasting of this actor, just like, intelligent Dom. But hey, no, that's not a dig on the actor or anything. I have the voice of like a Bakugan protagonist, okay? I'd take anything else life would offer me. Hey! Can you stop that skateboard? When Reggie yells, he actually reaches the tone I'm looking for. If he could just bring, like, base level Reggie up to that energy level, I think he would be perfect. <sighs> 
A skateboard. I forgot Longo was the dumbest broad on earth. If you haven't seen this show before, get ready for this guy to have his mind fucking blown at the sight of anything on wheels. You saved my butt! Thanks, new guy! Did Reki just turn into Sean Schimmel? Cause he j he sounded exactly like Goku for a second. For like a quick second, which infuriates me a little more. Just be that! Just be your Goku impression the whole time. Stop! Yo, Reki's like kind of an asshole, right? If somebody laughed at me for falling off of a skateboard and then did a kickflip over my embarrassed and broken body, I'd fucking cry. I like wouldn't be able to take getting owned that hard in one serving. That would not, that certainly would not put me in the skating mood. Cool. We're hiring. Mm Hi. Why were you a freak about that? This dude just slipped right out of the shadows the second he heard someone wanted a job. Then he just slinks right up behind lasagna and is like, I got you right where I want you. This is so top secret you can't ever talk about it. Okay guys, it's a skateboarding club. Let's calm down here. The goal is to make the best skateboard anyone's ever seen. Then use it in a race where I skate better than I ever have before and win. Then win. Yeah, Longa, I guess that is something you heard earlier today. To come home and find my son cooking for me, I'd call that a win. Another win. Is lasagna an android? Just like picking up on pieces of human speech like, Reki said win, and then my mother unit. What could it mean? I'm learning so many new words today, mother. One day I'll come up with a word all on my own. I'm thinking flamfloozle would be best, but I'm still working out the kinks. I don't know why I gave him Gara's voice, but, you know, it just spoke to me. Longa, get me the scissors from the tool box. What a precious little boy. Longa genuinely has the mental maturity of a toddler. He has no emotional compass, he repeats most words spoken to him, and he gets into trouble if he's left all alone. <gasps> Truly the world's most precious soul. How was he not nominated for best boy also? Still bitter about the Crunchyroll Awards. It, it, it's bullshit. Iota for best girl, lasagna parmigiana for best boy. I don't like surprises, kid. Surprise, bitch. <laughs> oh my god, what? Oh, I cannot wait to meet Adam. He sounds like an absolute lunatic. But it takes more than that to win S. Ooh. Perfect Joe voice. Excellent choice. Nailed it on the Joe. Though I also would have accepted a deeply stereotypical Italian accent. Forget about it. This kid ain't winning S. You have to be crazier than a chicken parmigiana and a pair of slacks to think this kid's got any chance. I guess I'll throw him a bone and not write him off. Just Oh no. Oh wait. Oh no. Oh wait. Is that Jonah Scott? I gotta listen to Jonah have deep unresolved sexual tension with Night Eye for 12 episodes? Jonah Scott's girlfriend, who is also an anime voice actor and is a very sweet person and has a great Instagram and TikTok and you should follow them. I'll have them somewhere up here. She watches my content and shows Jonah my videos and has been wanting me to react to something with her Jonah in it. And I guess I am, accidentally. <laughs> Jonah, if you're watching this, feel free to take my suggestion for season two. After season one, Joe takes a trip to Italy, visits some extended family, connects with his roots, comes back, season two, THICK Italian accent. Feel free to take that suggestion, absolutely no need to give me credit, all yours. You can use my hand if you're scared. Nah. Use his hand! Use his little hand! <laughs> Why'd it do that? Why'd it do that? Was stay on the board? Hey, Reki, better not get caught dishing. <laughs> hey, look, Longa skating the board. Skate, skate that, that board. board. Skate, skate that, that board. board. Always good to see you, Mr. Tamashiro. Easy chicken parmesan. Hold the chicken. You fucking weirdo. I'm working right now, you dimwit. So am I, douche. Oh, wait, maybe Jonah does know what I want. Oh, get off my case, you fucking douchebag. Says the four-eyed food snatcher. I ordered it. You're getting this. <laughs> oh, this clumsy <laughs> cow bite <laughs> turtle. Hmm? Yo, they want to fuck so bad. You think Joe taking a bite out of that cherry tomato wasn't symbolism? Yeah, he's taking a bite out of that cherry, all right. Out of his ass. Yeah! <laughs> Jesus Christ, these girls are fucking ruthless. What are they, construction workers from the 1930s? Why are they expert catcallers? I caught, I want a cup of that Joe and I'll climb that cherry tree. 
That, would, that last one's disgusting. And yeah, I vaguely remember saying I want Joe to carve my ass like a half pipe. But I don't remember what video that's in. I'm not gonna find it. You figure it out. Till then, I'm scot free, baby. I don't get it. All these aren't supposed to be difficult. Dude, are you kidding me? My life would be significantly improved in multiple ways if I could do one Ollie. Can Ollie, you can go wherever you want. It's a freaking revolution. You see? That's what I'm talking about. It's a freaking revolution. You can catch up or you can get left behind because you're either with us or against us. <clears throat> okay, so I just finished episode two and I'm starting to find that. Uh, since I've already reacted to, like, all the major surprises in the show, I don't have, like, a ton to say about each episode, so I'm gonna kind of start skipping around. Again, if you want the full, complete Danny Mata Skate the Infinity experience, check out that other video and then compliment it with this. This precise front foot action makes me want to hurl. He hooked up the half-rotated board and returned it to its original spot. It's basically a Casper. He did a semi-translucent corkscrew with a rutabaga swirl. It's basically a ragtime jig. This guy's good. Yes, I am seeing quite a bit of damage. How is everyone so okay with doing business with this obvious vampire? The dude's eyebrows have fangs. <laughs> oh my god, I forgot about Adam's blatantly evil skateboard. I've thought a lot about it. If I end up slaughtering you, then you're gonna become my lapdog. <laughs> Why have you thought a lot about this? Also, what does that mean? They never go over the details of this incredibly specific and terrifying agreement. You would think that it means that Reki would have to be Mia's personal butler, uh, until you realize that Mia is a person who literally walks around with a cattail shoved up their ass. And if the world comes crashing down and I lose this, then I'll be a dog or cat for you. Again, not high stakes for a man already dressed as a cat. Mia looks like a Pokemon halfway through evolving into a human. Why is this like the most sexually charged skating community on earth? If you did that, he'll never be able to skate straight. No, you wouldn't. But Longa's savage. The way he rides his board is insane. Longa's an animal. He's fucking crazy. Who knows what he will do next? Reki really just wants to see the world burn, doesn't he? Oh, here comes Lasagna's famous move. The ravioli twist! You're so awesome! Okay, yeah, just friends my ass. When was the last time you came running in to hug your bro cheek first? That is a hugging technique exclusively designed for lovers. Why are you a dumbass? Uh, uh, huh? Okay, but if the tail's not shoved up his ass, how does it move? I don't want to hear any comments being like, oh, it's just tied to his bell, it's just an accessory. We've now proven that this tail is cheek clench activated. Skating should be fun. Yes. Oh god, here we go. At this point in your life, you have nothing left. Is it just me, or is this guy, like, using his sex voice 100% of the time? Dude is growling every word like he's narrating an erotic audiobook. For instance, when you do an ollie, take your foot and... Oh, may I touch you? Oh my god, nope, uh-uh, you guys were right, it's worse. Oh my god, it is vastly worse than the sub. He's so creepy. I hate the voice, I hate the hands. I hated, like, all, all this situation going on. This was horrendous. Hold on a second. Oh, thank god. Take back what you said about Mia. Reki! Not the pressing issue here! Also, you know what I just realized that I didn't realize in my first watch of this show? So Longa, like, owns Mia now, right? Mia's Longa's lapdog. Them's the rules. I don't think it ever comes up again, but Lasagna 100% owns Mia now. Hey guys, it's Danny from The Next Day. Turns out, reacting to 12 episodes of a show you've already seen before in one sitting, incredibly exhausting. Who'd have thought? Who could have predicted that'd be a terrible idea? I don't know why that was the plan, but it didn't work out. I got very tired by episode three. It took me like six hours just to get through the three of them. So now it's a new day and a new outfit and we're back to skate, baby. But don't worry, I woke up this morning and I said to myself, there ain't no chance I'm turning that skate video into two videos. Two videos? What are you, fucking crazy? That If I could promise you anything, it's that you'll never catch old Dan Man 
man making two videos. It won't happen. This is just gonna be one big ass 50k subscriber bonanza. I'm so dedicated to getting this video. This is too close, huh? I'm so dedicated to getting this video out that I actually had jury duty this morning. When I walked in, I said, listen, listen, listen. I don't even care what you got this guy on trial for. Guilty. Now get me out of here. I got anime to watch. So let's get back to it. Hey, I know you can hear me. I can see your ears sticking out from that mask. Wow, nice. Sick burn, Recky. Your talent, it drips from you. I've become a river. You've created a deluge of intrigue. Oh, a flow of information has burst open my dam. So I've chosen my prize. Okay, strap in, folks. We got a lot to unpack here. First off, this is a 30-year-old man dressed as a Valentine's Day Dracula. Nothing wrong with that until you start talking about how moist these two teenage boys make you. I don't want to hear you describe anything dripping out of poor sweet lasagna. Okay, you keep your damn damn under control. Don't, don't, ugh, oh, don't ever say you've become a river of whatever is dripped out of longa. Also, your metaphor is a goddamn mess. So what, it's like lasagna's juices dripping into your river and busting your dam? Or is it like the drip, the liquidy drips of your intrigue? I don't know, you're not making any fucking sense. And look, I'll admit it, his voice is sexy as hell. Arguably the sexiest voice I've ever heard. The way he goes, So I've chosen my prize. Sounds like his voice just gave me a back massage and jerked me off at the same time, okay? It's undeniably sexy. That being said, that is not the voice I want obsessing over this teenage boy. I don't want to be the boogeyman, but just keep it in mind. Later. Joe's voice is like constantly fluctuating between like intimidating Italian mafia boss to like whatever the hell Jonah wants. Don't want to be the boogeyman and nothing. Bye! All good. What kind of punk leaves his manager alone at night? What the hell?! Jesus Christ, Shadow's voice actor has insane range. But they're calling the rookie who used the duct tape, I guess because he's a snowboarder? I bet he's the reason Adam's making a comeback. It's pretty crazy that both Joe and Cherry know that Adam's this, like, serial skate rapist, and none of them have, like, properly warned Longa. I know Joe was like, he's a dangerous dude, but, like, g give him all the facts, Joe, come on. Copycat? I'm not copy. Then go to the back of the line. You're cute, but I'm not bu- Oh my god. Smooch! Joe literally just called him cute, right? Like, I didn't mishear that. How are you guys gonna make me re-watch this show knowing full damn well I'm not gonna get a single smooch at the end? No. You wanna skate together against me and the little red rocket? Don't so he is a pedophile in this version, right? He just called Recky the little red rocket. It cool with the sexual innuendos, you're at a children's skate park. If you expect great taste, you have to put in the proper effort. Sure. Presentation is key in plating a dish and when planning the courses. Thanks, Joe. Great culinary insight. Why did you take him so seriously? He's talking about metaphorically tasting little boys. Let go of me! I'm gonna crash! Next, we have a straightaway. Oh my god, I forgot how fucking terrifying this was. Ready for the Big Bang, baby. Dude, stop! Why would you make me relive this? Why would you make me relive this in, like, a far scarier context? Oh, man. Oh, man. I, like, know what happens, too, right? That's the worst part. Like, I know what happens, and I still am terrified for Reki's safety. <laughs> Listen to him play this triumphant music. These sick fucks. You sick bastards, I know what's coming. <laughs> Okay, but like, this is exactly what I was talking about in the beginning of this video. This show is so mental, it's so unyieldingly intense and brutal with how crazy the drama is. When I first saw this episode, I guess you guys have my reaction, my literal reaction, but when I first saw it and Reki fucking lands neck first and his lifeless corpse just barrel rolls past Adam, Oh man, what a crazy show! What a crazy show! Oh, f 
fuck, I love this show. I, like, it's so weird that I'm, like, nostalgic about a show that came out a year ago. But you know what? This was, like, my start, you know? This is a deeply personal show for me. This show brought a lot of you to me, and so that's cool. That's fun. I hope you guys are enjoying this video as much as you like the original. Much better than expected, but still just a taste of the hors d'oeuvre tray. You gotta stop eating these kids. If it turned out that Adam actually ate the people he beat in skate competitions, It'd be the least shocking twist in the show. Oh my. The main course has arrived. God damn it, Adam's got an appetite for Italian tonight. I do know some things. Hope you're ready. Why is every voice actor, like, trying to out-seduce each other? All the male voice actors are just fucking, like, growling up a storm over here. What, did they read their scripts off a naked assistant with the lines written on their chest? Out of nowhere. Hello. You're too close. Insane. I need no further proof! Are you kidding me? The way Cherry says hello is like obviously teasy as hell, but the way Joe says You're too close. The way he whispers it under his breath, so full of excitement but frustration. It's like he's saying Not in front of the children. Because he knows that if Cherry rolls one more inch, they will be taking a one-way flight to Smoochville, USA. Look at Joe staring at him like All I'm saying is you better back up if you don't want me stuffing your ravioli with ricotta. This is all the evidence I need. Like, Japanese dub Joe and Cherry are like, oh, like, they're so cute together. They have so much chemistry. They're definitely gonna get together. These guys are fucking. Hardcore, lip-biting, back-shredding fucking. Jesus Christ, look at Joe's shirt just begging for mercy. I have one set readied in the car. Such a good boy. You've performed exactly as your master ordered. Is Adam ever not in full-blown dom mode? I feel like I'm way angrier today than I was yesterday. Maybe hornier, too. I'm gonna be excited to edit this video together and find that the second half is, like, infinitely louder for no reason. I guess that's what happens when you wake me up at 7 a.m. for jury duty. I still can't believe they've got Longa dressed as a male stripper in this episode. You're gonna look at that black collared button-up tank top and tell me lasagna doesn't look like the opening act for Magic Mike? Thank you all day. Going to Hot Springs. Is lasagna voiced by Ice Bear? Ice Bear has a conspiracy theory. Joe, are you listening to me? I'm scared. <laughs> Don't worry, Bay. I'll protect you. I like how Lasagna's cool guy voice is just Sylvester Stallone, like, hopped up on morphine. Don't worry, Bay. I'll protect you. Hey, why don't we all grab something to eat later? Daddy! Right? Okay, don't get me wrong. It's a sexy voice for sure. But is it just me, or does Joe sound like he's threatening everybody he talks to? He sounds like the fucking penguin. If I went up to a girl and was like, Hey, why don't you and me go get something to eat, huh? She would think she owes me money, and I have her father somewhere trapped in a box at the bottom of the ocean. Man, didn't realize Joe was such a foot guy, huh? Dude verbally trembled at the sight of Cherry's ankles, okay? You know they do some weird shit. Also, just like a fun, quirky fact about me, uh, I never needed to hear that sound come out of Joe. What is it that you require to turn a meal into a mouthgasm? I like hors d'oeuvres. Oh, don't answer! Oh, look, you got him tapping! How do you answer such a clearly psychopathic question like that? Actually, it's weirdly fitting that he said mouthgasm because I have been reacting to Food Wars. That's right, I've been reacting to Food Wars exclusively on my Patreon channel. Obviously, I can't post reactions to a show like that on YouTube or TikTok, uh, so those reactions will only ever be on Patreon. Subscribing to my Patreon also gets you access to my exclusive Discord channel uh, where we play games, we chat about anime, video games, movies, all that kind of Kind of stuff. Here's a little tease of my first Food Wars reaction right now. God, the food looks so good. Oh my god. Oh my god! Peanuts butter. I feel like peanut butter fried squid could actually be pretty good. You make like a crispy, like peanut butter breaded coating or something like that. Like, I feel like that could work. I don't know how bad that could be, you know? Whoa, what? Whoa, whoa, what? <laughs> oh man, good times. Good emotionally scarring times. So if you guys want to help support the channel and get access to an exclusive video every month and have access to my exclusive Discord, make sure you click the link in the bio to subscribe to my Patreon. Thank you guys so much for those of you who do and even just those of you who check it out or just watch my videos on YouTube. Your support really means a lot and it really helps me be able to put out as much content as I do.
I know my schedule is kind of sporadic, but I want you guys to know that I do work on YouTube and TikTok and all of this stuff every single day, and your support is what allows for that. So once again, thank you guys for your support, and let's get back to skate. Hey, what's up? Hanging out. Where are we going? I was thinking the Big Wood course. Are you fucking kidding me? The Big Wood course? Really? I will be competing as well. Don't be scared, darlings. Daddy knows you can handle it. Okay, well, funny thing about that is uh, no sentence could have possibly scared me more. God, if I ever managed to look a fifth as hot as Lip Pierce Cherry, the doors that would open in my life, a whole, a whole new world of possibilities would yawn before me. I have been in love with all of them. We're just skateboarding, right? You're still a bud who hasn't blossomed yet. But when you do, that's when I will fall for you. Mia, get out of there! I can't believe he just talked about deflowering Mia when he's older. Like, whoever wrote this has to eat people, right? Right? Like, that's the only explanation for somebody who can write lines like this. You'd have to, at the bare minimum, You'd have to be like a Buffalo Bill level psychopath to come up with lines like this. That is amazing. Is it? <laughs> Jesus, speaking of serial killers, can we get a therapist and maybe a psychologist over to Recky's house ASAP? Hey, bitches and bros and non-binary hoes! Whom's hoes and non-binary excuse me's? No, 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 no. A win for progressive activism cannot also be a win for psychopaths. <laughs> what a wild line. What a wild line I've kind of been unintentionally stealing. How's it going, boys, girls, and squirrels? This dubbing team is absolutely unhinged. This is a lawless show. Anyway, I think that's enough skate for today. Like I've said, I've already reacted to the series, so it's kind of hard coming up with new things to re-react to, considering all I'm really reacting to is the dubbing. And yeah, I really just don't want to retread ground with old jokes, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, the dub's pretty solid, actually. Adam's obviously the standout. He's incredible. His voice is just like, every line is so menacing and erotic, but he nails it, man. Uh, Joe's voice actor is great as always. Uh, I really like uh, lasagnas, I like cherries. No, Rekki's is good. I think I just like, starting with sub, it was hard to like switch over because I have this like personality of Rekki in mind. And for some reason, this is like the only character where the voice change to me kind of changes his whole personality as well. Whether that's the actor or the director, who knows, but he didn't do a bad job for sure. But anyway, if you like this video, like, comment, and subscribe, all the usual stuff. I got a lot of cool stuff coming up in the future. Uh, it might take a little while, like a week or so, because I kind of have an idea, I have a bit of an idea for a type of not reaction necessarily, but like a type of content I want to try aside from the reaction style content I've been putting out. But don't worry, it's not like radically different. It's something I genuinely know you guys are going to love, uh, but it's going to take me a little more time. I want to try something that allows me to watch like a season of an anime or a certain amount of episodes and then put out a video on like several episodes rather than having me like watch an episode have to react to like every two minutes of that episode and then put out like three of those that doesn't mean those videos are gone by any means uh assassination classroom season two is still gonna come out i'm just taking a short break from that still but the thing is i'm sure many of you've noticed uh when i do react to shows like i have been with like assassination classroom it takes me like six months to get through like 20 episodes. And that's because it takes a lot of time putting out like each individual reaction of each individual episode. So I'm going to try a new kind of thing uh, next week or something like that. Anyway, sorry for the ramble. I want this to just be like, you know, a nice little like update to the channel. I really hate when creators like complain about making content and that's not what I want this to come off as like. I just want to let you guys know like if you know, I don't post something for like a week or so. Don't worry, I'm not dead. I'll just be, it'll just mean I'm working on a bigger project that I know you guys will love. And with that said, uh, thank you guys so much for 50k subscribers. That's awesome. That's insane to me. 
and um, I welcome all of you, and I will see you all next time. I think we go together like we're sweaters in hot weather. You don't know, and you would think that I would, would just be dying for you, and I just don't know.